welcome to Adobe Illustrator Drawing for Beginners. I'm your instructor, Marian Smith, and I'm really excited that you're taking this course. Um, I want to give you some quick tips and tricks before you get started in order to help you download all of this information to your brain because it is a lot of information and it could be a little overwhelming at times. Um, first off, I have done a separate video about downloading the Adobe Creative Cloud. Um, that is amazing, highly, highly recommend it, and I think you might even be able to get a free trial on it, but I'm not sure. Sometimes they, they offer it, sometimes they don't, so you may want to take the course first and then go and try to find it, but I highly recommend having the program before you get started so that you can work along with me as I'm showing you the different tools. Um, so what you can expect in this video series is a walkthrough of all the most important tools for beginning to draw on Adobe Illustrator. We're not going to go through every single tool, but just about um, all the all the main and important ones that you need to be able to use in order to draw graphics today if you finish the course today. However, I'm not expecting you to finish the course all in one day because you're going to have to go back and rewatch stuff. Um, but one thing I do recommend is, again, having the program ready and having it open while you're taking the course. And after every tool, I want you guys to go into Adobe Illustrator and play with that tool. This is very, very important. Um, as I walk through all the features of each tool, I want you to pause the video and try that feature out at that moment. This is so important because your brain will remember that information and store that information better when you try it. If you're just watching it, there's gonna to be tons and tons of information that your brain doesn't download and you're gonna forget all of it and you're gonna to have to go back in and watch the course over again. So if you're wanting to be efficient and you wanna save time, try out all of those techniques as you're watching the videos. Take advantage of that start and stop button or that pause button um, as much as you can and try each each single thing more than once and um, really try to draw something. I highly recommend that you try to draw something. That is what this course is about. That's how you're gonna remember all of these things and that's how you learn. You learn by, by doing. Um, so another thing is, is I'll, I'll be instructing on a Mac. I only ever use Mac computers for graphic design. If you're on a PC, some of my terms or my keys that I mentioned may be different for a PC, so make sure to look that up online. For example, the command um, key for a Mac is most likely the control key on a PC, so those are things that you need to keep in mind. Those are the two, some of the keys that I use the most um, in this course. Um, so look for those conversions online if something's not making sense for you. However, everything else in Illustrator should pretty much be the same. It's just the shortcuts that might be different for you. Um, and I believe it's only that key and the alt key. So look that up online and figure out what it is for you. Um, also, um, this is a beginner's course. However, there's a lot of intermediate techniques in this course and I put them in there because I wanted you guys to be able to do something a little bit more in because I wanted you to be able to do something a little extra after you've learned the basics. So there's a lot of information with each of these tools. Normally for a beginner's course, I would just walk through each of the tools and not really go in depth on the tool settings, but I, I really wanted to go through the tool settings and the different tools and sub tools and um, extra libraries and things like that because I feel like that's something that you guys will definitely tap into after you get the hang of it. So. Don't get too overwhelmed, and like I said, try it out. Go through each step and each tool and try it out right then and there. Don't wait, don't watch through the course and then go and try to do something because that's just gonna cause more frustration for you guys. Um, that being said, I'm really, really excited. I can't wait to see what you guys do with this course. We are gonna offer a second course that's a little more advanced. This first course, I didn't wanna overwhelm you guys too much, although there's a ton of information in there. Um, I didn't wanna to get too detailed with textures and creating tools and things like that because I knew that would be just way too much. So get comfortable with this first course um, with everything that you learn and get to drawing and start making your graphics and then go into the second course um, comfortable with what you've already learned because you're going to really need that for the second course. You're going to need to be comfortable with these tools before you start that second course. In the meantime, I am going to have um, some mini courses that you can take that are on specific graphics. So um, they're at a really low price point and you can purchase these to learn how to draw certain things on Illustrator. Um, so if there's something really specific, specific that you've been wanting to learn like the diamond um, graphic or the flower graphic we did, I'm gonna have a little bit more advanced mini workshops on things like that 
coming soon in the very, very near future. So um, if there's something that you've really been wanting to learn how to draw, let me know. Leave a comment on Instagram or Facebook or message me and let me know what you're wanting to learn how to draw and I will get to it. We're also going to have a flower module or workshop um, where we just draw beautiful flowers that are way more detailed and textured than the one that you're going to learn in this course. Um, so I'm really excited to see what you guys do again. Don't forget to tag me on social media so I can see what you've done so far. I'm really excited for you. This is a really fun journey. It's something that I've always been really, really passionate about, as you guys know. Um, so I'm excited to kind of see what's been stored in your guys' brains and what you've been wanting to get onto um, paper or in a graphic. So have fun, you guys.